Hey guys, welcome. Cindy Williams here, the Wanderlust CEO. I have the amazing John and Joanna all the way from Canada this morning from Infinite Exposure Luxury Travel. How are you guys doing? Good morning. We are doing very well here at home. <laughs> yeah, very well so good, far. Good, good, good. Good morning. And uh, you guys are recent graduates of our Cruise on Vacation program, correct? Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> and you're in Canada. I want to point that out. People think we don't help people in Canada, but we do because marketing has no borders. <laughs> it really true. doesn't. It doesn't. So tell the audience, if you would, a little bit about where your business was before taking careers on vacation and where you guys are now. So basically, we are pretty much one year in, in the travel industry. Brand new. Didn't know anything about the ins and outs of the business. And, you know, having a host agency is good, but they just gave us kind of like the bare minimum of introduction to travel. And we're kind of, uh, in a way, have to figure out on our own uh, where we want to go, what path we want to take. And for that whole year, we're, we felt like we were stuck. We didn't know any programs out there until we found you. And we jumped right in right away because we knew we needed something to propel ourselves to get out of that being stuck. And yeah. in the program, you, you held our hands step by step. And that really helped us because we, both of us, we, we felt like we needed some kind of a curriculum. Guidance, yeah. And the guidance there week by week, new, new topics every week. And the 12 weeks, I felt like we've exponentially grown compared mm -hmm. to the year before. I think wow. the first year was also uh, was basically fundamentals as well. Learning the, like the ins and out what the agency is and what it takes to mm -hmm. know all the products as, as one, and then knowing the back end as fun as much fun as the you know learning the, <laughs> learning products. the products. The back end was quite <laughs> a daunting task by itself at the same time, right? So that's so true because everybody has their starry eyes when they start in travel. And of course that's fun learning about travel and learning about selling, but the how to actually do it, <laughs> right? And, and so many times people expect more, hey, <laughs> expect more. She can join if you want her to, she's a cutie. Like this is a family business, let's do this thing. She's so sweet. I love it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. So, um, uh, you know, people sign up with a host and they think that's going to be everything and they don't realize it's really just turning your logins on and Hey, take a couple trainings to the suppliers. When you're, when you're in that first year or two, you have two jobs learning how to be an agent and then mm -hmm. how to run an online business. And this piece doesn't happen with hosts. It just it doesn't. So I'm glad you guys found us. What would you say is the biggest win or celebration since taking the program? Um, I guess the biggest win is actually taking actions towards that mm -hmm. actual marketing and sales aspect. Uh, you know, trying to get us out into social media because with both of us, we don't have any background in yeah. business. So to get our foot wet into like the social media to that uh, YouTube video, <laughs> getting in front of the camera and being a little bit more comfortable with it and then actually trying to market in a way that you guys trained us that you know not just family and friends exactly right <laughs> yeah. you want to be able to show that you know you know something and that you're piquing people's yeah. interest instead of just saying hey look at this there's a deal here there's a deal here come join me right we're not expedia and we, yeah. we provide more than just good prices where you yeah. provide like you said a service right and yeah. that's what we are and you guys like you said you guys people buy us the agent because that's who they trust and work with right they're not buying you know the, the cruise line or whatnot yeah so. the 599 special out there somewhere and you're talking about expert positioning which yeah. we teach you in the program and that's so that's so key in terms of reaching real clients you can build a, an okay hobby business with friends and family but if you're not getting regular leads on a regular basis of people you actually don't know like real customers then right. it's really it can, you can be stuck in hobby phase for a long long time so and marketing marketing can be daunting if you've never if you've never kind of like you said tipped your toe in the water before and like 
what the heck? I mean, I, I just think of like walking into, I mean, cause it took me 25 years of experience and learning to get all these systems into a place where they're just on autopilot. And uh, if I went back in time and opened that, how you do Facebook, how you do Instagram, how you do YouTube, it's like, there's so many pieces that if you don't know how to optimize them in the right way for business, you can get caught up and it's just like going down a rabbit hole, I feel like. Right. Now, tell me if my notes are correct. Did I read in your final coaching call that you guys got not only to the first page of Google, but in the top three by the time you graduated our program? Yes. Yes, we were number oh, two. two. Wow, you guys, that's such a huge win. People spend years trying to get into that top uh, Google because that means free leads, right? So that's amazing. Congratulations on that. I see that as a huge win and obviously a result of you using the techniques we taught you in the program and uh, what you were just talking about with the marketing. So mm -hmm. I want to talk about mindset for a second. We have a lot of mindset through our program. Did the mindset uh, pieces help you through the process? How did that impact either your life or business? No, I think for me, that was really the very biggest favorite. win for me, having that mindset. You guys coaching because, um, like you said, from being a hobbyist to a business owner, that's a very big leap of changing, reframing my mind. Because we've always been in the employee mindset. And you know, Brandon and Kelly, they really dove deep in that when we had that coaching session there. And, you know, it kind of had that aha moment illuminated my mind. You know, that they're, you know, with our times now, with the pandemic, being an employee, you know, you could be, you know, not have a job. But being a business owner, you have the flexibility of, you know, staying at home without being scared. And ha having no um, cap in your income, you know, if you put in the effort, it can just exponentially grow from there. And yes. Well, Changing my mindset, my yeah. mindset was how do we become like Cindy and have our own agency and mm -hmm. be more than just an independent contractor. agent contractor with a host agency? How do we come from? We all have to start from somewhere, and I totally understand. And without a host agency's help to get you in the industry and walking through um, the trenches, uh, I, I feel like when we speak to other agents and people who own their own and where you've come along where you say, okay, well, we can, we can make this more explosive without actually having a brick and mortar at the same time. Mm -hmm. It kind of inspired me to work with you in that aspect. So my mindset was like, okay, how do we get from, from the beginning, from crawling in this industry to, you know, walking tall and proud at the end of the day? So. I love that, walking tall and proud. And, and I always say, like, whatever you want to do in life, go find a mentor who's mm -hmm. already doing it at the level you want to do it. Let them teach you so you can replicate it in your own life, right? So you guys obviously did that, and I'm honored that you, that you chose me and the whole team. And I love what Joanna said about, you know, we're kind of tired of being employees. Like, it, it, especially you guys took the program during the pandemic. If people are, if you're watching this years later, I mean, this is amazing success story because you're doing it in the most difficult time, right? But yeah. I love what Joanna said about, um, you know, getting out of that employee mindset. And that's, we really focus on getting you guys to think like a CEO and moving your business with intention. And that is a shift. If you've been an employee and worked for someone else for so many years and done, towed the company not line and been loyal, when you flip a switch and you go, you know what, when something pops up, I have control of my future. I have control of my schedule. I like, we're still, as we're filming this, we're still in the pandemic right now. And my husband and I are like, we can stay home as much as we want. Both of us work from home full time. So I feel, I feel you there. And the mindset can help you get there 100% for sure. I'm Love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You can have breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I want some breakfast. Oh, it's totally fine. We, this is the beauty of a home-based business, you guys, because yeah. You want to be able to be there for your kids. You're not going to get those moments back. So no. bring them on. We, we'll interview you guys all day long. <laughs> so John, walk me back to when you found us. Was it hard for you and Joanna to jump in or make the decision to start working with us, for, with me and our team? I, you know, I stumbled, I, well, basically we were kind of speaking to each other and we were looking through YouTube and watching 
all these YouTubers who are doing travel. And uh, I think one of your ads came up or one of the next video suggested came up on YouTube. And, oh, uh, you know, I guess when you, I guess one of the videos was when you started or how to become a travel agent or when you're starting. And that kind of piqued my interest. And uh, I guess what everyone probably says about your videos is, you're very likable, very personable, and you, know, you just got this great personality and charisma that kind of like, okay, let's see what she continues to say, right? And uh, a lot of the things that you were talking about joining a host agency and you know starting off as an agent, becoming a travel agent, kind of really said, oh, hey, that's that's us. <laughs> we're brand new. We're trying to get mm-hmm. to uh, to a certain point, and we kind of compared the independent agent and uh, our family friend owns a agency and we tried to actually join them, but uh, it wasn't the time for them at this point in time. Yeah. But uh, when we continue to watch more of your video and it's like, okay, well, you know what? Cindy has a team, Cindy does this. So mm-hmm. she's like, and she's got this great agency and the way she talks about it, she's got the experience. Mm-hmm. And you know that what else do you need from a mentor right experience their own they've got a team that you know when you start to look at the overall aspect half of it it's automation half of it is delegation and half of it is actually going out there and doing the work and that seems to be like the proper business formula and so it wasn't very difficult for me to uh get on board and joining careers on vacation it was talking to Joanna, who's got no experience. Joanna, usually it's the husbands that are the skeptics. I love that. <laughs> Joanna, from your perspective, what was it like? You're like, what? Who's this lady online that you want to give our money to? Exactly. No, we, I mean, I think for me, the way we connected in your videos is all about laws of attraction, you know, the whole universe thing. Like, um, we were, in a way, led to your path. And you're and the student class. is ready, the teacher arrives. Yeah. Yes. I love that. And if someone's watching this video right now going, oh my gosh, oh my <laughs> gosh, there's a reason like that video popped up, right? Because right, right. it, was, it was meant to be. I love that. Well, I'm honored that you guys chose us for sure. What would you tell people that are sitting on the fence and they're like, oh, I don't know. I know this lady has, uh, we're this, I think you guys were, I think you guys might be our 75th uh, case study. So I don't know how many people have to watch before they, like, I couldn't pay all these people to say nice things. Like, right. do we pay you guys for these case studies? No, 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 no. You guys come to us and go, I have something to share. Right. right. But, um, seven. So, but what would you say to that person? Who's just like, I know I need this. I want to grow. I have the passion for travel, but I need tools or resources or I'm, or I'm stuck somewhere. What would you say to that person that's sitting on the fence about making that decision? Uh, that person on the fence, I would definitely let you know that you're looking for someone who's a mentor that has the experience, who's got the team, who where you want to be. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, it's a choice that you have to make whether you want to spend that investment on yourself and if you want to continue to grow. And the other thing that we were discussing last night was, you know, what were you doing in that last six to 12 months last year? Have you grown? And if you haven't, then you might want to take that, get off the fence, make that investment for yourself and let your business grow. And there's, after a lot of reviews on your YouTube and whatever else is saying that they're already seeing uh, returns on their investment, it's a no brainer at the end of the day, Mm -hmm. in my opinion, right? And for me, we didn't have to reinvent the wheel. You you had the wheel. We just yeah. had to follow that path. Put tires on it and yeah. drive it. <laughs> yes, yes. Having that roadmap so you can be like, here's where I'm going. I love that so much, guys, because it is, like you said at the beginning of the call, you said we learned more in 12 weeks than we did the entire year prior. Mm-hmm. I've already made all the mistakes. I already spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on marketing and found out what doesn't work for you guys to right. figure out what does, right? And that's why I love sharing it. I, I'm a firm believer in why I started this company is there's enough abundance for all of us to run big, huge, successful mm-hmm. businesses. 
And uh, I'm so excited for you guys uh, and your future. You have such a cool brand that you put together. And uh, listen, if you're listening out there and you're just like John and Joanna and you're like, ah, I'm feeling stuck or, oh my gosh, I want to move to the next level, reach out to us at careersonvacation.com forward slash ready now. And you can do a free discovery call and the team will learn a little bit about you, what your goals are and see if it's a match to work together. It's really an easy, like, process. The discovery call is really just to, to learn what your needs are. And um, guys, I want to wish you guys so much success. You're not going far. You're just going over to our graduate community, but I'm so happy to see how this whole thing unfolds for you. And now that you have the tools and systems, I'm so excited for your future. I'm your cheerleader for life, as you know. <laughs> well, thank you, Cindy. You're so welcome. We'll talk soon. Okay. Definitely. Thanks, Cindy. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Let's go get your water. <laughs>here if you like that last video make sure you check out my other content to help you grow and scale your very own travel business and also i invite you to travel around the world with me and find out what i'm doing in my portable profitable award-winning travel business check out the video